Welcome. Would I shoot a quick video? Um, I'm doing a little modification here with a uh, what do I call this? A strut, spring strut, and uh, that's not the subject of this video. I just uh, began to realize uh, that I saw some comments a couple times, maybe three or four times uh, online about mini mills and how the uh, uh, z-axis uh, grinds and, and the x-axis grinds and then it, it suddenly dawned on me that um, there's something a lot of you guys don't know and what you don't know is that these motors generate electricity when you turn them and when the power is not on as it is not on my mill right now um, if I turn, I got hand cranks on my stepper motors, by the way, if you can see on the end here. If I turn this slowly, I don't have a problem. If I really crank on it, you hear that? That is the stepper motor that is generating electricity, and it's bucking back at me because um, it's... Uh, I don't want to get too technical. I am an engineer. It's still connected to the MOSFETs on the uh, driver boards, and there's likely a quench diode on there. And all that electricity that it's generating there, it sees a load. It sees a load in the um, driver board. And so it's bucking back. That's all it's doing. It is not, the gears are not grinding, nothing's grinding. It's simply bucking back at you. And if you want to, um, you want to prove that to yourself, if you have an extra stepper motor, take the stepper motor, uh, chuck it up in a drill, and um, take two of the windings uh, and short them together. Well, first off, put them on a meter and, and prove to yourself that as you rotate the shaft, they generate electricity. And then after doing that, short the windings and try to spin the shaft. And you'll begin to feel bucking. I call it bucking. It's a, it's a buck back. It's bucking back at you. Uh, um, best word I can come up with. If you've got a better word than... Uh, have at it. But anyway, that's what it is. The stepper motor sees this load. It, and you can hear it. I've always known what that was, so it never, you know, it never bothered me. I, I knew uh, from the get-go what that was. In fact, uh, I learned or I came to the realization of what it was when I built my CNC laser, which is under this tarp right here right now but uh, as I was moving uh, the uh, y-axis uh, inside the laser unit here I was moving the y-axis which was connected uh, which when not connected okay moved very smoothly but once I connected it to the driver it began to buck back at me if I moved it too fast it would buck bucking i had a lot of bucking and that bucking is because it's connected to the drivers and it sees a load and it's generating voltage it's not being driven by the driver it is seeing the driver as a load because there's no power applied to this thing so anyway i thought i'd make a short video because that's uh i see that all the time online and and it just never dawned on me what, what guys were were talking about or what they were um seeing in their description, they, they kept saying a grinding noise from the gears or gears grinding. And then it just tonight, it just dawned on me what uh, what they were describing. And that's exactly what they're describing. That noise is from bucking right there. So take it for what it's worth, but it's the truth, guys.